Welcome to the friendship. It is our lucky day today. We have Leah Song and David Brown here from Rising Appalachia, one half of this amazing band. We went to Crested Butte, we saw them play live. We were moved from our hearts, our souls, not only from the music, but just from the words that they all spoke. And so we're really excited to have them here to make a beautiful friendship session. <laughs> it's a song called Stretched Out on Our Grave, a proper murder ballad, and uh, made quite famous by Sinead O'Connor, but this is our version. I am stretched out on my grave, and I'll lie here forever. With your hand in mine, I'd be sure that you would not sever my apple tree, my brightness. It's time we were together, for I smell of the earth, and I'm born by the weather. My inspiration is the study of folk music, so any front porch music, the music that is taught and learned on the streets and in communities and as ways of passing down memory and story. So it, it means that I have like a, a world of 
of things to, to study and to learn from. I will never run out of material. I love old music. What bands or artists influenced you the most growing up? I was a major lover of underground southern hip-hop as an urban child of Atlanta, Georgia. You can't really get much closer to Outkast and Goody Mob and uh, the Far Side and all these great old 90s hip-hop bands. I was a big lover of Ani DeFranco. She changed my whole understanding of folk music. And, uh, and collectively, we all have a lot of a lot of roots in, in old Appalachian folk music and blues, a lot of the southern gospel, stuff like that was played in my family's home. So it's a bit of a, a all over the place southern spectrum. Alright, what are you guys going to be doing in 2016? What are you most excited for? What's coming up? Yeah, we're going to be playing uh, Red Rocks in Colorado, and here in Colorado, and uh, towards the end of May, which is pretty exciting. Um, going to be doing that with our uh, Friends Elephant Revival, which is going to be a really fun collaboration for us. Um, and we're talking about maybe doing a little bit more train touring, too, and also just as part of this sort of general philosophy or approach to touring that we're calling the slow music movement, which is really just trying to, it's kind of like the slow food movement of music, you know, trying to slow things down a little bit so we can savor it more and appreciate and just connect more with, with where we are. Um, it's mostly set up to take the glitz and the glam out of, out of the music industry and try and figure out how to, to bring back our relationship as troubadours, which means that we we actually know the communities that we're performing to and with, that we actually get some time to connect with farmers and, and folks on the, on, the, on the ground, the workforce, the action, uh, the, the artists. So, so our hope for this year is to fortify that idea, to take the slow music movement and our album that we released last year called Wider Circles and, and just extend those connections and give them a little more girth, a little more roots, um, and, and continue to flush out our relationship with the places that we really love the most. So, so trying to really make music a relationship for connection again and not something where we're always just in and out all the time. So that's our hope, actually, is to go slower. You have some very amazing style. Where Thank does you. your style and influence come from? Thank you. I love it when people say that. <laughs> uh, we we were like raised on the thrift store, but we had a sassy grandma Amen. and a sassy mama, and no, nobody really had a big income. But but again, being in inner city uh, Atlanta. You, you were not, shabby was not really in the protocol, so we would, we were notorious for like showing up at the thrift store and buying old shoes and then going home with Sharpie markers and like coloring in the parts that were scuffed and making everything fly and new and our own and, and it stuck. So I, I like, I like to collect little pieces from everywhere we go and a lot of it is gifts or, or homemade or, or from, amazing local local folks so uh, I don't exactly know any, any appropriate name we call it gangster guy which is probably really inappropriate <laughs> I, that's I like what we call think. his style that was beautiful yay thank you cool project yo thanks for joining us thanks for joining us on such short notice yeah uh, yeah, good times. Uh, great oldies. Good times, great oldies. Good times, great oldies. Great times, great oldies. <laughs> <laughs>